If you've been following the protracted birth of this car, you probably know the basics. The 2017 Fiat 124 Spider is a Mazda MX-5 in an Italian design suit. It's built in Japan, and it was engineered by Mazda but sports a Fiat engine, shared bones, different philosophies. A quick Miata aside, when we found out the latest MX-5 had less power than the NC generation car that came before it, what got shouted down was the fact that it's significantly lighter, and it's also a damn riot to drive. It doesn't need more power, and we reaffirm this belief every time we get in one. I did just that, driving one to the airport to catch a flight to San Diego this week. With the MX-5's charms freshly in mind, I drove the 124 Spider in both basic Classica and posh Lucille trims on road, and briefly sampled the sportier Abarth version at a long autocross style cone course. What I really wanted to know is how much Fiat character found its way into the latest evolution of the Japanese interpretation of the classic European roadster. Whereas the MX-5 is stretched drum tight over its hard points, the 124 Spider has an extended nose and tail. Since the wheelbase is unchanged, this manifests in larger overhangs. To be generous, this body stretch increases the trunk space slightly and improves cooling to the turbocharged engine, which faces more significant heat management challenges than Mazda's 2.0 liter. It also gave Fiat's designers some room to incorporate scallops for the LED-equipped headlights that recall the sealed beams on the original Fiat 124 Spider from 1966, those iconic twin-power bulges on the hood, and an angular grille. Whether you consider the 124 to be attractive on its own, in comparison to the MX-5, or an appropriate homage to the original car is entirely subjective, but I'll weigh in with mixed feelings. Sharing a platform has its challenges, and recall that Fiat came into this development process late. This was supposed to be an Alfa Romeo, remember? How that affected the design process isn't clear, and no one would cop to it, but it seems that the Fiatization of the MX-5 didn't happen at a leisurely pace, nor on Fiat's terms. I think it's less handsome than the MX-5 in general, but in certain colors, and in the Abarth trim, it's a looker. The front end is especially handsome, and the character line that kicks up at the door handle adds some real interest to the profile. The homely squared off taillights are a disappointment compared to the MX-5's quasi-Jaguar units, but the power bulges on the hood are delightful.